We'll look forward to that. Well, one of our area's leading charities hit by arsonist overnight. The St. Vincent de Paul Thrift Store and Donation Center in Lincoln Park lost a weekend's worth of donations. Our guy Gordon joins us now live. And Guy, they, they need our help now, don't they? They really do. Uh, they, they need to replace what was lost last night. They've been busy with some pickups, so they're just now getting uh, to cleaning it up. This happened around 1145 last night. How do we know it? Because we have surveillance video that we want you to see of the arsonist in the act. Uh, within minutes of catching him on tape, uh, these three bins, all three of them, were aflame. And these workers, they were heartbroken when they found this this morning. The firebug was caught on this surveillance camera around 1145 last night, apparently escaping on a bike. It's really the kind of thoughtlessness that would have St. Vincent himself shaking his head or throwing up his hands. Donors who arrived today just couldn't imagine why anyone would target a charity. It's heartbreaking to see. I just can't believe that anybody would take things that are being donated to help those in need and destroy it like that. I can't believe that they know these clothes go to the needy, you know, that come in here or they donate. That's ridiculous. The three bins were destroyed and along with them 1,500 pounds of clothing and household goods. It's really not the charity that's victimized here. It's the 300,000 people they serve every year. We provided them food, shelter, utility assistance, and our 11 St. Vincent de Paul thrift stores allow us to do that. Michelle and her staff want to believe the arsonists did not know what they were doing or who they were hurting. They are depending on kinder people to help heal the hurt. Drop off a donation, gently use clothing, household items, anything that you can spare. It's time to spring clean, and this is the perfect time for them to help us. Now they will take those donations at any of the 11 uh, St. Vincent de Paul uh, donor centers in and around the metro area. Also cash donations too because they got to replace uh, these three bins. Uh, now they say, you know, uh, they've already forgiven the arsonist, whoever that may be, because they said this is all about helping the needy. And they do believe that that person was needy probably here and here. We're live from Lincoln Park. I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4. Right. And Guy, just looking at that video, what are the chances of finding the suspect in that video? Pretty good, and I'll tell you why, Carmen. Uh, last night around 8 o'clock, there was a man standing on top of these dumpsters. He was asked to get down. He got confrontational, threatened to punch a manager in the face, mm -hmm. and then pedaled off on a bike. We think we have a picture of him because he showed up again today while we were doing an interview. So we're going to give that to police and hopefully they can catch you did this. All right, and we'll stay on top of it. Our guy Gordon reporting for us live.